Well, we're going to talk about the two-way girls teams, the Fab Five, according to John Day. Uh, John, really interesting Fab Five. We had a chance to talk about it just a little while ago. How do you who do you see in the top five? Well, uh, number five, I've got Lincoln Park Academy, which uh, I haven't talked too much about. They're led by Kelly Hensley in 1920. They've got some uh, some solid runners. Number four, I've got Bowles High School, uh, average time 2014. Number three is, uh, and again, the top three are probably going to separate themselves from four and five, But uh, so it's anybody's race from three on up. I've got American Heritage, uh, led by Daisha Rogers. We talked about Daisha before. You know, she's running 1816, and I, uh, I'm not certain that's uh, I, she can't go a lot lower than that. Number two, I've got Bishop Kenny by a hair under underneath uh, the number one team. But Bishop Kenny has got uh, five solid girls. Uh, they get four. Uh, the top four are all in the 19s. Their fifth one is just over 20. Um, and then my number one team, and uh, basically I'm, I'm putting them number one because their number one runner is the best in the state, in my opinion, Shelby Davidson at 1736. Uh, they've got some depth. Uh, their two and three runners are both under 20, and their four and five runners are just over 20. But, uh, you know, we'll, again, we'll see at the state meet, but uh, I think it's going to be a three-team race between uh, Cocoa Beach, Bishop Kenny, and American Heritage. Excellent. You know, we have... Obviously, the, the top runner, according to your rankings, Shelby Davidson, and she's got some support behind her. Malia, first year running, she just keeps getting better and better. All righty, John, another Fab Five. Let's take a break, and we'll be right back. with. Uh, we'll continue on with the midseason checkup with John Day's Fab Five.